the device that is transmitting audio wirelessly. And it is super sensitive, meaning it picks up very, very, very soft noises in a room. If you listen closely, you can probably hear the sound of the refrigerator running. And you can probably hear the sounds from the fish tank making an ever so slight but soft noise. And you can hear loud noises as well. Now how are you going to be here? What about feedback? It's a very neat device. It's currently tuned to 101.7. And this is the device right here. Um, this is actually based off of this circuit right here, which I found on the internet. You can you can find these schematics online at uh, electronic uh, ecircuits.com, and uh, basically uh, it's pretty simple to put together. However, um, just to let you know, for this uh, uh, variable capacitor, I didn't use a variable because I don't have one. I used a 18 pickle farad capacitor, and for the inductor, as you can see. The inductor has a little coil, and I have a little adjustment here. It's just basically a ferrite rod that screws into it, and it, to adjust the frequency, I would just turn this one way or turn it the other. You'll notice once I turn it, it'll go out of range. You hear the static. And then I just turn this over so slightly. And there it is. Once again, that's, that's feedback with distortion. So I have to turn it down, or distorted feedback is what it is. But yeah, that's my that's my tuning knob, and uh, uh, that's about it. It's pretty easy to make. First time I ever made a transmitter. I used a two foot four inch antenna. That's this red wire here uh, that comes off of the board. It's just basically magnet wire, um, enamel coated. Runs off of three volts. Uh, pretty neat check it out it's a it's a fun little uh, project to try and um, it's just just for fun